I'm super excited. They now have one additional terabyte of storage, you know, very fast storage. So I'm going to download everything that I can download from PlayStation Plus, uh, play about 30 minutes, fall asleep because I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> What's up YouTube, this is your boy G, back in another video. So today we're going to clean our PS5 for the very first time, right? After almost two years, cause I got this PS5 as a wave one, right? Back when it was released, I believe uh, December 2020 or you know, whatever, whenever it was released. But I got this as a wave one and I believe I've been using it for almost two years now. This is the first, very first time that I'm going to clean it. As you can see, it's very, very icky there. We're also going to install this SSD, right? So this is the RS Gen 4 7000 S SSD, one terabyte. So we're gonna put that in and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let me show you a clip right now real quick on the actual noise that it, you know, it has right now. It's not really bad, you know, it's not distracting when you're playing, you won't even hear it. So let's go ahead and open this up right now. Uh, very first thing that we're gonna do is of course, remove the base. Even the base is super dirty right now. That looks much better now. Again, this is almost two years now. I was intentionally not cleaning it so that uh, I can observe how much noise it will generate, you know, after a couple of months uh, without cleaning. And if the, even the performance will degrade and so far I haven't really seen any performance degradation whatsoever. Although the air uh, flow on my location where I position it is pretty good. And also I never play without aircon anyways. So I always have an air conditioning at home whenever I'm playing it. So, you know, so that it will stay cool. Very first thing that you're going to do is grab it here, right? And then you're going to pull it out downwards, right? So there are a lot of clips here they're like positioned like this so you cannot pull it this uh, way you have to pull it downwards but the very first thing that you're going to do is grab it here lift that a little bit and then pull it um, gently uh, downwards so let's go ahead and attempt this all right so we got that this two um little knobs here are kind of like the lock for it and everything else is just the uh Kind of like the clips, right? The locking mechanism. And you don't want to just pull it outwards because you might break this pointy little thing, especially the bigger ones. So first is you're just going to pull this vertically, right? And then if you think it's already uh, dislodged, they can just swipe it downwards like so, and it will be good. That is nasty. So a lot of dirt there again, hair, dust, and whatnot. This is two years of accumulation of uh, dirt or again, almost two years. There's a little dock here that Sony PlayStation put and what they advise is to clean it there, right? You like vacuum there. All right, so just a heads up those dirt did not come from that all right so those dirt are already there before so don't worry about it wet wipes wet wipes all right not wet wipes but it's uh wet wipes so just uh i wanted to clarify that <laughs> let me go ahead and uh use some dried wet wipes here with a little bit of alcohol so it's not that dry anymore just make sure that it's not going to go to the electronics and you're using alcohol so it dissolves pretty quickly all right so this side looks much better now if you notice intake vents there looks clean as well so let me go ahead and open up the other side now 
the other panel so we can clean that part too and um, install the SSD. You're not going to pull something here now in front. You're, you're gonna go to the back to the one that is tightly close to it. All right, this part. If you notice, if you um, lift it like that, you will see the lock there, right? You have a peak on that mechanism there or that uh, little nudge. So you're just gonna pull that up like what we did earlier, enough to pull everything down. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's pretty easy as, as long as you manage to dislodge this really quick, it's just easy to pull down, right? So that's what we've done. Dislodge that, two locks, pull down. But this is the side of the SD and the fan. But let me go ahead and inspect it real quick. Now if you notice, the fan here has that screw now. So we will actually unscrew that to make sure that we can also clean the fan itself, right? Just make sure that the fan is good. Then open the SSD up, install the Aorus one. But for now, let me go ahead and clean them. All right, absolutely clean now, at least for that part. If you notice, the fan itself is pretty good. The vents are now clean compared to earlier. But I'm just going to finish everything else, every corner and nooks there. And then we're going to install the SSD. Don't forget to clean, of course, the middle part of it. That's the one exposed. If you're wondering why does it look different on mine, I have a D brand uh, skin for the middle. I purchased it straight from the brand, but not the actual shells, just some skin on the middle. All right, let me open this uh, fan first, clean that little bit, put it back, and then we'll proceed with the SSD. All right, so we got all of the screws. Be careful on the screws because they are in different lengths, right? So you cannot put them back on any order. Now, we managed to get this off. All right, we're going to clean this up. All right, be very careful again on the wiring as you don't want to um, cut that accidentally. This is the actual fan, so we're going to clean that up as well. And a little bit of that inside, we're just gonna vacuum that a little bit. All right, so I think it's absolutely clean now. We can go ahead and put the fan back. All right, pretty easy, right? So we managed to clean both sides now. We're now ready to install the SSD. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so if you notice that it's the SSD drive, let me just zoom that real quick. We're just gonna have to um, remove this little screw here. That's just a Phillips screw. I like that the little screw has PlayStation marking on it, right? So this is now the SSD socket here, right? So let's just make sure that that is clean as well. All right. So this is our Aorus Gen 4 7000 SSD. So let me go ahead and open this real quick for you. Uh, this is the one that we want. It says read this up to 7000 megabyte per second, which is seven gig per second. Again, this is a PCI four. So make sure it's gen four, not gen three. And again, the speed requirement is at least 5,500 MB per second or 5.5 gig per second and above. It's uh, pretty small, right? Like the packaging there, but it's just direct to the point. You got this and nothing else. It's pretty, weighty I, I think because of the um, heat sink but let's see if there's anything else here so you just have some paperwork um, underneath let us inspect real quick it has again uh, weight on it um, both side is very secured with the actual heat sink it's pretty thick as a matter of fact this specification of this doesn't really meet this you know by numbers but physically it should work it's all uh, it's like perfectly fit now this is the connection 
uh, make sure you protect that. And the actual oars here has a bit of plastic, right? So make sure you remove this and do not forget to remove that. You might leave that I like the design, you know, it's very sharp, very good build quality. We have to make sure that we're gonna get that screw and move it onto the actual slot, right? Let me just put it real quick. FYI in this ORS um, Gen 4 7000S, you can actually install it like what I'm doing right now. Uh, I would actually want to install it this way and check the speed, uh, even uh, observe the performance and whatnot. But you can actually update the firmware of this, right? I'm going to do that as well and probably create a, a separate video for that because I will have to connect this to my PC. But you will have to update this or you can update it. It's just optional. It's just really not mandatory. However, it's good because um, that update or that firmware is for stability, right? To improve the stability of this for console. So it's basically for PS5, right? So make sure you do that to make sure that you won't have any problem with this. But nonetheless, this is quite good already. All right, so that's pretty much it. We managed to install the SSD now. Uh, I actually forgot this um, shielding here, if you notice. So we're going to put it right away. All right, so it's now back. So again, SSD there, fan cover is there, it's very secured, make sure it's not moving. And uh, that's it. All right, so I think we're in the pocket here. Top is now clean compared to previous one that is really bad there, right? But looks absolutely good right now. So that's it. We now managed to clean our dirty ass PlayStation here. Let me give you some shots. So the alcohol lifted a little bit of that. I just have to put it back, but it's absolutely clean now. Going to be really functional and uh, hopefully quiet. So we'll test a little bit of a game and see how loud it is comparing to the first clip that we got there when it's still dirty. All right, so this is now the PS5 with the SSD. So as you can see, the very first time that we turn it on, it will ask it to format. So let me go ahead and format. Pretty fast, right? Now the read speed is uh, 6.5 gig or specifically um, 6,539 Mbps or MB slash SE, right? Megabyte per second. Now don't be too caught up on this because the, the PS5 itself is just requiring 5.5 we're gonna move this right for it's about 36 gig so let's see how fast that will be the item selected will be move okay all right so it's about 30 seconds right so if you notice there it's definitely moving uh, a lot right per second it's about uh, the the right um, claim one really, really fast. I can say about two, three gig and it's done, right? Jesus Christ. So imagine we just move about, uh, is it 39 gig, right? And it only took 30 seconds. Imagine that if you tell this story back in the day where we use diskettes and all, but yeah, that's the speed. It's extremely fast and I'm excited to download all of the things that I would like to download from PS Plus. I have a PS Plus Deluxe here. But let me go ahead and um, um, run a game here and let's check the sound level again, like exactly like what we had earlier. All right, so I believe this is the point where we stopped earlier and we're listening to the audio levels or the noise level. So let's go ahead and inspect the new one. I mean, the clean version of this PS5. All right, I can definitely hear the fan. 
you know, like on its uh, base level. Not as loud as before, but it's still, you know, of course, it's the actual fan of it. I think that's the best one that I can do. But it's absolutely clean now compared to the one that we got earlier, which is just atrocious, right? <laughs> Look at that cabling there. But it's absolutely cleaner and quieter than what we got earlier today. All right, but uh, that's all for today, guys. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. I know this video is a little bit longer than what we anticipated, but I, I had to do a lot of stuff, uh, you know, clean and install the SSD and whatnot. But thank you so much for staying. Um, you know, click the like button if you like this video. Comment down below if you have any questions, anything that you would like to know about PlayStation and stuff. And uh, especially the SSD because I'm going to use it and observe so that I can provide you some feedback as well. But I've heard it's pretty good. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions, thoughts about this. But I'm super excited. Uh, I now have one terabyte of additional storage. I'm going to download everything that I can download from PlayStation Plus and then play for 30 minutes and go to sleep because I'm too old for this shit. But that's all for today, guys. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. But thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and see you on the next one. Peace.